and shifting focus, Indians have been managing with much less cash in hand as the government pushes for a cashless economy. Now, analysts have already lowered growth forecasts as the effects of a cash ban appear set to stay in focus. Now, still, the impact won't necessarily be all negative for India's economy in 2017. And Radhika Bajaj tells us more. As a snack food vendor with a small shop, Narendra Kulkarni's business has always been cash reliant. In the aftermath of the currency ban, which sucked out 86% of currency notes from the Indian economy, his business slumped. He was apprehensive trusting technology with his money, but that changed after the digital wallet brought business back on track. I, start. I started accepting digital payments only about 15 days ago, and my business has already picked up by roughly 25%. Small businesses like this are now fueling the growth of big ones. The push to depend less on cash has given them a boost. Digital payment providers are struggling to keep up with demand after the government asked banks to add a million card swipe machines at retail locations before the end of this fiscal year in March 2017. That's in addition to the 1.5 million machines already in circulation. Credit and debit cards aside, e-wallets are gaining traction among consumers. The most widely used in India, Paytm has added nearly 650,000 new merchants and 15 million people have downloaded the app after the Prime Minister's shock announcement on November 8th. This whole uh, ecosystem slowly would explore options which are non-cash uh, because that fear of cash is already there now after, after uh, uh, PM Modi announced uh, this whole demonetization because frankly you know, uh, people would like to now use less cash. If they have white money, uh, uh, they would not like to now hold cash like they used to do earlier. This drive to get transactions on record is widely expected to delay the implementation of India's biggest tax reform in decades, the goods and services tax. But many believe it may make the GST more effective and enable it to surpass analyst estimates for growth. The demonetization helps to bring in the unorganized economy into the organized sector. And I think the success of GST actually lies in making sure that everybody is a part of the system, which currently they're not. Because when we're talking in terms of GST leading to higher growth, it's not actually people are going to produce more goods. It's going to be better accounting, which is going to take place. Still, the immediate effect of less cash has been a sharp fall in demand across sectors. The Indian Central Bank cut its GDP growth forecast to 7.1%, down from 7.6% for the 2016-2017 fiscal year. And sluggishness is expected to affect the April-June quarter as well. But in the long term, the money cleanup is expected to benefit not just Indian businesses, but also citizens. When this whole thing is cleaned up, you will find that a lot of money which was outside the system will come into the banking system. So what will this do? it will make available more resources for banks to lend. That is one. And a second is that because more, more incomes have been declared, more incomes come into the mainstream, the government's tax revenue will increase. As a result, the government will be able to spend on social sector activities. The government will be able to reduce tax rates, for example. Despite causing a big shake-up, the money ban is likely to help the Prime Minister achieve a key objective bringing more foreign investment into a country riddled with red tape. While the knock-on impact of fighting graft has already been appreciated by key trade partners, the US included. Looking forward to 2017, the money ban will redefine and influence key decisions. But many believe it will only help India retain its fastest growing emerging economy tag. For CGTN, I'm Reuters Radhika Bajaj, Mumbai.